souls, hello and welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascension's Tarot. My name is Angela. Cancer. This is going to be your reading for the first half of July 2019. I hope everything is well for you guys. Hope you guys are in really good spirits, Leo. Um, let's see what this portion of this month has for you. Okay, but as I shuffle, I want you guys to keep in mind that this is a general reading. And not everything here is guaranteed to resonate with you. Take what resonates, discard the rest. And understand that this some, some things in this reading can go vice versa. I also invite you to check the videos for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Understand also that these are general readings, not personal readings. So... On that note, if you are interested in booking a personal reading, now is an excellent time because I do have a promotion going on on my website for 30 and 60 minute live phone reading sessions. So for those who are interested in purchasing um, a session with me, the promo codes are below in the description box. Be sure to type in the promo code and hit enter at the end so that your discount is applied. Get into it. Holy Spirit, show me what you have for Leo singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the first half of July 2019. Ah, oh, Leo. I feel like you might be neglecting yourself, right? Maybe not, not eating things that are healthy for you. Um, I feel like a lot of you could be spending a lot of time on your phone, wasting a lot of time there. But I do see, especially Leo's, I see you obsessing about something. Obsessing about negativity. Because that is your central energy here. Negativity. There could be a lot of negativity around you, but I'm also sensing that there's negativity within. Because what I'm seeing here is that your soul and your body are out of balance. And that it could be affecting not only you, but the people around you. I see someone in the scenario that could be a Pisces. Maybe a Sagittarius. Maybe another Leo. I'm also seeing someone who could be in the public eye. Or someone has an aspiration to be a celebrity to get the status of a celebrity. Um, some of you, there's been job losses or money hasn't been secure for you. You are looking for a job. I see, do see new prospects on the horizon for you. Maybe some of you feel that you haven't been getting the attention that you deserve, whether this is from a Scorpio or maybe the people around you. I do feel like this is a very emotional time for you, Leo. And I do feel that this is also a time to stay focused on your dreams. Emotional cleansing is what I'm seeing. Okay, so I'm getting water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, specifically Cancer and Scorpio is what I'm seeing for some of you. I'm seeing an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that could be um, relevant to your situation. <clears throat> You feel that your safety has been threatened in some way. Um, surrounding your emotions, okay? Whatever that means to you guys. Your emotional security, your sense of emotional security has been threatened. Something is really throwing you off balance. Absolutely. You're not feeling like yourself. I feel like you're having some type of internal struggle regarding a situation some of you could be getting in arguments with other people and you could be even in arguments with other people over things that don't even really matter at the end of the day is what i'm getting right but is it really worth it so you could be questioning whether or not a love relationship was worth it some of you could be looking for guidance from your elders specifically your mother or a motherly figure I do see unconditional love here that you have. Cancers, you're holding on to someone. Some of you are really overly concerned about money. There could be arguments um, in your situation surrounding money. 
something has happened to you over and over again on this life path, on this journey. And I feel like you're going to release yourself from whatever this is. You could have released yourself from someone, released yourself from someone who was combative, that's obsessive, that won't let go, that is also disrespectful, someone that is disrespectful. Um, someone has rejected you, Leo. This could even be you rejecting yourself. Right? We're talking about negativity. So I feel like this could even be in your thoughts that you're having about yourself. I feel that some of you Leos are keeping to yourself, not really wanting to be associated with other people. Kind of withdrawing, keeping to yourself, right? Because this is a very emotional time for you. This is also a very psychic time for some of you. Some of you are healers of some type and you may do this professionally. You could be... Um, I'm seeing a witch. Some of you could be a witch doctor. You could be a healer of that type. You could be a shaman. Um, or you do some type of spiritual root work. And I do feel that this is something that brings you fulfillment. Or you are moving on to some type of fulfillment or achievement. By keeping focus on a dream of yours. An aspiration of yours. Leo, I do feel that you're feeling resentful towards someone and someone has disappointed you, caused you to run away, right? Or someone pushed you away by their actions. It could be this earth sign here towards Virgo or Capricorn that could have done so. They could have been the perpetrator or maybe this is you, Leo. You could be pushing yourself away, right? Depleting yourself of your energy. Maybe it's time to get away from people that cause nothing but trauma in your life. Maybe that is what you're trying to do. Move away from that type of energy. Maybe this is why you're keeping to yourself. Releasing yourself, as I stated before. But it looks like there's a Gemini on your mind, Leo. Perhaps another Cancer. Definitely someone with earth in their chart. I'm seeing earth and fire and water. <sighs> Something here caused you to feel like your self-esteem has been blown. Okay. Something broke you. Something broke your spirit. Something caused you to feel like you were less than, like you were subhuman. And it could be these combative people. Or person, a person that's combative. Okay, maybe you found out that the person that you are in love with, the person that you feel is your twin flame is in love with someone else. Whatever this conflict was about, I feel that there's an apology owed to you or someone is coming to you with an apology. You're feeling stuck and uncertain to do, uncertain about what to do with someone that ghosted you and stopped talking to you. You're going to release yourself from this negativity is what I'm seeing. But uh, are you really? Definitely a lot of negativity here with the devil card. Some of you could simply be dealing with the Capricorn. Um, I feel like there's some type of obsessive behavior here. A lot of jealousy. Someone here has some type of addiction. And specifically I feel alcohol or gambling. Or overlapping relationships speaking of that here's the player that's why you're feeling off balance you're not feeling like yourself somebody played you left you out in the cold and left you to fend for yourself you're feeling paranoid but you're trying to keep a stiff upper lip and make it seem like you're strong right that you have it all together oops you stick come up in the upright. Here you are, Leo, and all of your valor here. <sighs> but something here has got you feeling conflicted or confused, and you're not sure what to do. Possibly regarding a Sagittarius. I feel that you have had some time to think about a situation. 
and now you're ready to act. You are not wanting to be vulnerable and open up, but why? Okay, it has to do with a love relationship for some of you um, that you feel that you won't. It's like you feel like the issues involved in this love relationship are too big, right? Someone made you cry. Someone really had you in your feelings. Okay. Negativity. Ah, you feel judged by other people. Some of you are really paying too much, giving other people too much power by paying too much attention to what they think. Yeah, see that? That's why there's a lot of negativity and people talking, talking smack about you. Right, gossiping, causing drama, causing you to question yourself and doubt yourself. Someone has frustrated you, either it's someone or a group of people. It could even be in a work setting. All right, people that are bullying you. Um, could have been a difference in opinion, but I feel like it's much deeper than that. Um, I feel Leo, some of you are dealing with a Libra. Yeah, because we have the Justice card in reverse. Someone here is causing you to question either you don't know how someone feels about you because of how they treated you. It's causing you to question, do they really love you? Do they really care? All right. And you haven't healed from something that happened here. You feel like something here is not going to work out. And you feel like letting go. There could be a confession of some type from this earth sign who keeps coming up in your energy. So some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign, possibly someone you're married to. But if you're not married, I see a very deep and strong connection here. Someone here that you're married to even. Um, could be someone who's very business-minded, business-oriented. And someone who is really focused and driven on their career. Someone here, Leo, either sees you as emotionally, um, going emotionally overboard about something. Something really did have you in your emotions. And maybe you did overreact emotionally to something. Right? Is what I'm seeing. If you have been dealing with um, issues here with finances, Leo, I see that turning around for you and I do see things getting better for you. Some of you may be waiting for court decisions and you're feeling like things are not going to work in your favor, but I do see victory for you. I also see a need to get grounded because some of you are definitely feeling unstable or unhinged. Um, and yeah, taking a spiritual bath is definitely going to be beneficial for you. I also see your third eye. I'm hearing third eye cleansing. I'm not sure what that means for some of you, but maybe there's something here that you're not seeing clearly or you're questioning your third eye. A spiritual gift that you might have, okay, regarding your third eye. I do see things balance out. Maybe you feel that this person balances you. This twin flame of yours, right? Where you've tried and tried to make things work, but it just hasn't ever. Because someone is too busy being sneaky and keeping their options open. And this could be someone that you have a child with, Leo, or maybe you want to have a child with this person. I feel like this person at one time did bring out the best in you, did bring out your childlike side, right? Made you feel alive. And now you're really feeling down, down on your luck, feeling down on yourself. Maybe you're feeling disappointed in yourself about the way that you reacted to something. Some of you may be taking a hiatus. Maybe you're taking a hiatus from love. Maybe you feel that you would benefit from going on a vacation because you're just that frustrated. I do see you, or it could just be the season right now for vacation. I do see you taking action on some things, possibly. So we're going to take a look at that. Okay, so let's move on to career. Career, I see you moving on to something more fulfilling or adding something to your career um, that makes you feel, feel fulfilled. 
Um, some of you are definitely taking action on building a business or a brand for yourself and leaving behind a situation that is full of drama and something that doesn't make you feel happy. You may stop speaking to some people. You may have stopped speaking to people at work, but you run into them every day, right? You see them. And it looks like you, you see them every day when you walk in. You're thinking about the future. You're thinking about the longevity of this situation. And you feel that it, you, would ha you would be much better off and much more successful with creating an opportunity for yourself. Because there's no opportunity here, right? You're around people who are fools, who are miserable, and who judge you. But you might be feeling that you're out of options or that options are out of reach for you or unavailable, especially when it comes to finances. Finances are definitely on shaky ground for some of you, or at least that's how you might see it. You're feeling a bit hopeless and you're feeling isolated from your friends or your people, people that make you feel genuinely good about yourself. I'm also seeing children here are a central focus or you either you work with children you desire to have children you may have lost a child or um you could be reconnecting with a child or this is someone that you have a child with some of you could be dealing with legal issues related to the job some of you could be dealing with serial cheaters you dealt with a serial cheater maybe this is you um on the job dealing with a third party And maybe there's no closure that happened. Uh, you're leaving a setting, a situation, and with no closure is what I'm sensing. Okay, and maybe feeling frustrated about that because something here could have ended abruptly or something was out of your control the way that it ended. Some of you, you're working on a project. What is this? No, okay, so you're dealing with a Virgo. This about yeah or a Libra a Libra Aquarius or Gemini something just didn't work out between you and an Aquarius Libra Gemini I do feel that someone is coming toward you to tell the truth some of you could be testifying in court as well I do see a time of healing taking place here and I do feel that some of you could feel as though you are floating from paycheck to paycheck, right? And that has something to do with your finances. But again, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, okay, I feel like things are definitely going to pick up for you. I see a new contract coming in for you. Some of you could be moving. Um, some of you could be fearing a loss of a home, feeling that you don't have enough money. Some of you are house poor. You're paying more money for your house than you can truly afford. I also see a very loving and strong commitment coming in for you. For you. Okay. Twin flame type of energy here. Some of you are definitely single, Leo. This is a singles video. But yeah, I do see that you're single. You really have your things together. Or this could be how people see you. Or this is where you're trying to reach. But right now, you're just at a low point. right? Normally, you have things together. Or this is just you moving on from a relationship and regaining your sense of independence. You may have blocked someone on the job. Or there may have been a delay of some type. Because I do see that some of you are down on your luck financially because you're out of work. Again, I see new job prospects coming in. You don't see any options but you have many, but it's going to require you to take action on something. Okay, maybe you're worried. Um, maybe feeling like the future is very uncertain. Your fear of the unknown. Some of you have a fear of intimacy. Some of you have a fear of spiders. You have a, some of you are letting people get under your skin. Um, you've lost your sense of protection. Yeah, because I do feel that there are people trying to get, yes, trying to invade your sense of safety, whatever that means. Maybe you feel that your job security is threatened somehow, or you feel threatened by someone. Maybe someone literally threatened you. 
but you feel like your sense of security is not there. Do you feel that some of you are leaving a job, taking taking some time away? Yes, going on a vacation or taking a hiatus. I do see people here that that are that may have stolen from you. I see someone afraid that they're going to face time in jail. Okay. But either way, I do see solid money coming in for you. Maybe because of some type of celebrity status, you could be dating a celebrity, perhaps, or you're on the way to gaining some type of celebrity status, as I just stated. But you're moving on from the drama, probably having to do, like I said, with an earth sign. Or maybe that's your boss. Okay, but I do see the Ten of Cups when it comes to matters of the heart with the Seven of Swords. So someone has threatened your sense of safety, likely, because we did talk about that, right? Your sense of safety. You don't feel safe regarding a situation regarding matters of the heart, regarding a relationship where someone cheated on you, right? You feel that your sense of safety, possibly in a love relationship in the past, was threatened by... Someone else. Someone else's impatience. Someone else's indiscretions, bad decisions. Maybe you felt that you threatened your sense of security, right? Because some of you could have a fear of intimacy, fear of being close to someone because you've been hurt so many times in the past. Maybe you feel that you have met the right one. That you did meet the right one, but because, like I said, of those intimacy issues and those fears surrounding that, maybe you push this person away. Maybe for good reason, perhaps. Maybe they were juggling. Maybe they, they were dealing with other people and you, and you got tired of being treated like an option. For some of you, you feel like you were overlooked for maybe a raise or promotion or you feel invisible to your co-workers, you feel like your input doesn't matter. That you're treated as a number. Maybe even that's how you were treated in a relationship, right? Next, that type of thing. Instead of being the one, like you didn't feel like your partner treated you like you were worth anything. They were moving on to the next thing before, before you could even blink an eye. And maybe that's what made you feel less than. Maybe that's why your self-esteem was feeling broken. Maybe that's what broke your spirit. Perhaps this even happened long before you got in this relationship that you felt broken in some way. And maybe that's why there's a need for emotional cleansing. Right? Maybe that's the reason where it's time to realize the truth. And that those negative thoughts in your head are not the truth they're not facts maybe you don't see your way out of a situation there's a lot of darkness surrounding your search circumstances or this is how you see things i'm also feeling like your ancestors could be trying to speak to you and get in touch with you some of you you are able to get in touch with your ancestors due to some type of spiritual gift that you have i do see third eye activation okay i do feel that there's a close friend that may step in and help you in the nick of time and stand up for you but definitely emotions are stirred up and i feel like it brings out a lot of negativity Right, you're trying to protect yourself against being hurt. Maybe there's something here that you don't want to see. Spirit is saying, believe it. It could even be that you're seeing into the spirit world and you could be doubting that that's what you see or questioning, did I see what I just thought I just saw? And I got the same thing for cancer. So some of you could definitely be dealing with the cancer. Some of you could be channeling your mother or a mother figure. I do also feel that there's a message of love coming toward you, and I do feel that there is a sense of sadness that you're having about an ending, but right after that ending becomes a new beginning, which ushers in a brighter day. I'm seeing synergy and healing. You're healing something, some type of negativity. 
stay focused on your dreams, stay grounded, stay centered, and get ready. Yep, yin and yang, balance. This could even be talking about a balanced diet. Some of you could definitely be in the gym or changing something about your eating habits. Positive change, yes. Some of you are advocating for other people, stepping up, advocating, standing up for positive change, maybe even for yourself. So we explored career. We touched on spirituality. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to that. Spirituality, right. Um, did I say some of you have? Okay, third eye activation is what we're talking about. Synergy and healing. Being at the right place at the right time. Opportunities aligning for you. Blessings coming in as a result of getting out of some type of lower vibrational thinking. I'm seeing inner peace. Right, and I feel like that's what this meditation brings to you, a sense of harmony, a sense of power. And I do see productivity. Yep, see that? Meditating, getting centered, purifying yourself. Some of you, we did mention spiritual bath, right? I feel that some of you were gifted the ability of healing from childhood. This is a blessing that you were given. It's part of your life path, your life journey. And it may have something to do with aligning with this twin flame. Perhaps the two of you have a very similar spiritual gift, whether you've met this person or not. And we're going to take a look at the energy of your cross watcher in just a moment. Yeah, but you're definitely a master healer. And I feel like you're going to come in harmony with that. Um, yeah, I see you channeling, having the gift of channeling spirits, ancestors, that type of thing. I do feel that you might be feeling alone on this journey, maybe misunderstood. Um, but I see the angels coming in and comforting you. And I see you finding your strength, right? In, in other words, stepping fully into your gift and not doubting it. Maybe upgrading some type of skill as far as some type of spiritual gift is, is concerned and realizing that you are beautiful. Forget about the naysayers because I do see a lot of naysayers around you. Let's take a look at the energy of the cross watcher for the Leos. What's going on with Leo cross watchers, Holy Spirit? What are they feeling at this time? They're in love with you. Someone is in love with you, Leo. But they're hurt and they're feeling vulnerable. Maybe you feel like this person isn't doing anything to fix the relationship right now. Maybe the two of you are separated. The cross watcher, believe it or not, they haven't moved on from you, Leo. They haven't moved on from the thought of you. There either once was a third party or someone is still entertaining a third party. And it could definitely have had someone that's something to do with a work relationship okay here's your gemini mm -hmm. for some of you who have not met your twin flame here it is showing that it, things are coming together and for others of you i see a twin flame union coming back together after a period of hurt after a period of betrayal your cross watcher is feeling hurt feeling damaged possibly by an Aries or someone with Aries in their chart and I sense that some of you are feeling stuck trapped someone could be trapped in the third party or feel as though they are trapped in the third party they could have involved an earth sign I see heavy earth energy here I see cancer in a relationship that didn't work out, I feel like the two of you definitely tried to make it work. But someone here was definitely um, more interested in seeing what else was out there than entertaining their own relationship. And I do see lies, deception. Maybe you don't have the clarity that you need about a situation. I see someone who did things behind your back and tried to cover them up. And so it ultimately made you unhappy. But either, either way, it's like you can't erase this love that you have for this person, possibly a Sagittarius or strong Sag in their chart. Um, a lot of wounds, emotional wounds, a lot of conflict. 
a lot of um i'm saying that the spirit guides are showing me muscle flexing what do i mean what do you mean by this let me help, help me elaborate someone here wanted to show that they have the upper hand verbally like verbal attacks tit for tat that type of thing attacking the other person because they said something to you right so you try to say the next like one up in one another that type of thing i see someone here doing dark magic someone here may have stolen your time your energy your youth your sense of certainty your self-esteem but really no one can steal that from you perhaps that's just how you're feeling at this time and perhaps that's why you're feeling stuck you're also feeling stuck because you may vacillate back and forth in your emotions or your decision making about what to do right do you stay and entertain a relationship that definitely was beautiful at one time and definitely had a lot of beautiful moments but you're trying to figure out do the good times outweigh the bad? Do the bad times outweigh the good? Okay, but in the meantime, you're saying F love, right? I don't need that right now. That's what I mean. You're going back and forth. Wanting love, but at the same time being cynical about love. <sighs> Feeling emotionally depleted and uncertain about opening up to love. Feeling very emotional very much in your feelings at this time and you might be finding yourself crying both of you both feeling that same way someone here is definitely worried about their financial situation this could be your cross watcher worried about a business decision some of you want to go back into this relationship and reunite with this person but you're feeling worried that they haven't changed Right? You feel worried that they're still going to break your heart the way that they did. Huh. Because maybe you made the change within yourself. Or maybe this is what's coming up. You feeling like a celebrity, putting yourself on celebrity status, right? Nurturing yourself, taking good care of yourself. Or perhaps this is how your cross watcher sees you, Leo. Sees you as someone who has it together right driven goes after what he or she wants and is just physically beautiful maybe this person looks like a celebrity or resembles a celebrity a known celebrity here's your gemini definitely strong gemini energy here you're feeling a bit out of touch with your intuition you're questioning what it is that you see all right you see things coming together with your third eye right with your physical eyes, no, you don't see it. You don't see evidence of things happening, which is why you're worried, paranoid about something. But with your third eye, you don't see it either because you might be shutting down or tuning something out. It could even be that you have the gift of sight, right, to see into um, the spiritual realm. Maybe there's an ancestor here that you see. Could be a father figure. Oh, I do feel that... There were times, okay, when things got bad, they were pretty intense. Okay, when things were bad, they were awful. Some of you feel stuck in a relationship that was completely dysfunctional, full of disrespect, full of um, um, emotional abuse. Someone definitely was calling you foul names. Um, someone here took you out of character. In other words, this isn't who you normally are, Leo, but they really pushed you to the edge here, pushed you to the brink. Maybe you're feeling disappointed in yourself um, or disappointed in this Leo. And now you're trying to pull it together and start, start fresh. Some of you are leaving behind third-party situations, cross-watchers, in order to have a new beginning with a Taurus or an Aries or a Capricorn or a Gemini. Maybe you just needed some time to think about what it is that you wanted. Maybe you needed some space here. I do see you being admired by other people, other people admiring your work. Some of you are definitely spiritual advocates, um, warriors for peace, collaborating on a project, and maybe strategizing on some type of 
um, reunion maybe or a vision or a plan that you have maybe someone had a plan to try to break you up they were plotting and planning a third party here someone was planning on your demise your unhappiness yes some of you are definitely dealing with the cancer this is very similar to their reading yeah this one here was definitely a player you can't stop thinking about him, little cross watcher. You're both thinking about the same thing. Also, it could be someone that you have children with, but someone very mischievous comes back in to make amends with you. They want to apologize to you about lying or about misrepresenting their feelings for you or being deceptive in some way. Maybe even hiding their own true feelings because of their own insecurity, because of their own fear of intimacy their fear of being close to other people and maybe cross watcher right now you're saying yeah f love because i'm focused on my career building a business building a brand for myself making a name for myself but why are you feeling stuck that's the better question i do see that you're feeling stuck but you're gonna come out and communicate with someone that you stopped communicating with um, and you could be moving or some of you could be moving on to marriage with someone after a delay someone here has been dragging their feet about commitment and now someone is thinking about long term okay and they could be coming back with some type of truth to tell you or some type of apology to give you but they're strategizing a plan on how to reach you okay because they ghosted you they don't know what to say but they're trying to gather the courage to say what it is that needs to be said. Someone here was very immature in their actions, definitely in their words. And that's what's leaving you very emotional right now. Okay, we got in their feelings about something. Let's take a look. But that unconditional love is what brings the two of you together. Here we go. Some of you may have lost some keys. They're under your bed for some of you. I don't know who that was for. Ooh, okay. Leo. Leo, the advice, Holy Spirit for Leo. Independent, of course you are. Some of you are becoming independent from a work situation. I see sacred space, setting up an altar or a place to commune with the divine is going to be very healing for you. I do see prosperity and spirit is confirming prosperity is coming in for you. It says the universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. The universe is pouring out its abundance to you. This is not just financial in nature. This is also on a very spiritual level. Spiritual downloads, information is coming into you. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Prosperity, definitely with money, without a doubt. There's going to be some situations here that require you not to back down. Some of you... Leos, you have not backed down from a situation. You do stand up for your beliefs and you do stand up for what is right. And perhaps that's what I see, you being an advocate for other people, advocating, bringing about healing to people that feel broken or shattered in some way. Purification, here it is again, confirmation, take a spiritual bath, go to the ocean, set up an altar to commune with the divine. It says it's time for cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. For some of you, this is dietary in nature, right? Time to focus on getting cleansed. For some of you, this is a spiritual cleanse that you're taking and at the bottom of the deck, undying love. The love you have shared is eternal, regardless of the situation. This is why it is so difficult for you to completely let go and wash your hands of this situation, right? Wash your hands, right? I do see a cleanse. You've tried to wash your hands, right? To purify yourself of this situation. But something keeps bringing the two of you back together for synergy and healing. Synergy, meaning that things are aligning for you and that you are going to see signs and synchronicities along the way. Numbers that that um, replicate. Um, hearing this person's name over and over, maybe on TV, on a magazine, on a billboard. Do you know what I mean? That type of thing. 
yeah something is definitely coming together and I feel like there's more here than meets the eye for you Leo <sighs> be careful of negativity negative thoughts that could just be a lot of negativity surrounding you right now but that is your central energy so I do see a need to raise your vibration by going to the ocean or getting some type of cleanse definitely drinking some water regarding your health but I feel like there's a mental health issue here right now but this is nothing permanent for some of you some of you this is just your emotions passing through or a situation passing through your life that feels difficult for you right now but I do see things getting better for you potentially depending on your free will choices so that's what I see for you Leo's Again, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can head over to my website, Angelic Ascensions Tarot, Angelic Ascensions Tarot .com. The promo codes are below in the description box. For those of you who are interested in a 30 or 60 minute session and would like to get a discount, those promo codes are available. Don't forget to hit enter after you type in the promo codes. Take good care, Leos. I will see you on the next video. Talk to you very soon. In the meantime, Leos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.